Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great day in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Are you ready for Cowboy football? Larry Reese's voice is that voice in your head. You rely on the voices of others to get him through one of the most trying times in his life. Well, in a cruel twist of fate now, Larry Reese is battling throat cancer. He's currently in the biggest fight of his young life. Yeah, I was worried about it, yeah. So. Well, you sound great. Well, I appreciate that. It's yeah. true, it sounds... There's a story behind that I'll share with you. Here comes Bullet! They coach to him, you know, he kind of uh, epitomizes what Oklahoma State's all about, Oklahoma State football's all about, and, uh, you know, he really just, uh, you know, he's the most positive, um, influential person, you know, uh, that I met really in that organization. You know? And uh, I just fell in love with Stillwater. It immediately felt like family to me, and it was home. And about 10 minutes on campus, I realized I didn't like crimson. I didn't like those Sooners, and uh, uh, orange became my favorite color. And so I moved here in 1989 and have been a diehard cowboy ever since. So you knew, even though you wore red, you bleed orange. I was just misguided as a youth, uh, wearing the wrong colors, uh, you know. That can happen to you in a small town in Oklahoma, but uh, I quickly uh, discovered that my true passion was all things orange and, and Oklahoma State, and uh, uh, this is just a tremendous place. I mean, you talk about a place that feels comfortable, a place that immediately felt like my extended family, and then, uh, you know, when you go through a scare like I've had in the last year, uh, you really realize how strong your OSU family is. Reese decided to stop ignoring what his body was telling him and went to the doctor for what he disguised as his annual physical. After running normal blood work and getting the all clear from the doctor, Reese finally revealed his true intention for the visit. You know, so he's giving me all kind of grief that, that my numbers look better than his. And I said, well, I appreciate that. Sounds like things are good. And, and I said, but what about this? For months, Reese had been neglecting a swollen lymph node on the left side of his neck. Days after his visit with the doctor in Stillwater, Reese had the lymph node removed. Finally, that Monday, um, he called me and we went in and, and uh, he said, well, I was hoping it was an infection, but it's not. He said, you have cancer. And we found that the cancer was in my throat. Um, you know, throat cancer was always in the back of my mind, my biggest fear, because I'd always been able to, you know, for 25 years, I've been using my voice here for my alma mater and I have so much fun on game days, whether it's football or basketball. And I just thought, man, what if that's taken away from me? My wife and I made the decision that uh, we needed to reach out to our number one fan here at Oklahoma State, and that's Boone Pickens. What was your reaction to Larry's diagnosis? How can I help? I had access to the hospital. Larry had a problem and so it was one telephone call and you know, we go to work. Uh, I'll tell you the story, the first day I got there and you're nervous and you're still uh, wondering what the future holds for you. And before my lead doctor came in, uh, a nurse named Jancy from uh, the Middle East, she's from India, she came in and she could just tell I was a little on edge, I think. I'm sure she has a sixth sense about that. And she grabbed my hand and she looked right in my eye and she goes, you know you will be healed. And you talk about music to your ears when you hear that because that was the first time I had been told I was gonna be okay. On April 10th, Larry Reese rang the bell at MD Anderson declaring his victory over cancer right, treatments. And only months later, he was declared cancer free. Reese attributes his defeat over cancer to the many members of what he calls his prayer posse, but one OSU faithful coined a phrase that would help to rally the troops in orange. A mailman here in town, an OSU mailman, uh, Tim Bays, who uh, I didn't really know, but uh, I kind of put it out on Twitter that, uh, that I had a cancer diagnosis. All Tim Bays did was, and I hope I don't tear up here, he, he uh, created a hashtag that just said, I ride with the voice. And uh, that became kind of uh, the signature hashtag, whether it was Facebook or, or it was Twitter or, or uh, it was shirts that were created by my OSU family. We it really hit me hard, you know, that he's going to need us, you know, the Cowboy Nation more now than ever. Uh, just remarkable for, uh, you know, Tim Bays to come up with that, and then it was a great way to show support for me. But, you know, at the time, everybody was using I Ride With The Cowboys as a hashtag, and, and Larry Reese is, of course, the voice, you know, he's a legend, so I Ride With The Voice just made sense. I just really felt like the entire OSU family put their collective arms around me. And the entire Oklahoma State family uh, was there for him, and I think everybody had his back, so... 
it was a positive outcome and uh, you know we're all happy happy for him. Coach Gundy called to check on me that week and I told him I said you scored too many points you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hoarse at halftime and Coach Gundy put it in perspective he said you know that, that'd be a pretty good problem to have I said that's a good point. The voice of the Cowboys but role he plays with the athletic department and everybody knows him he's a big part of Oklahoma State and Oklahoma State athletics. I think uh, I think having cancer just made me, I've always appreciated life and felt very lucky and blessed to, to be at Oklahoma State, to have a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter. And I don't think I've taken life for granted, but I've really uh, honed in on enjoying life and everything about life. And so uh, walk around will be special for me this year. And anytime I see somebody in a, I ride with a voice shirt or one of the wristbands, uh, I thank them because it, uh, it still to this day means a lot to me and my family and uh, will always mean a lot to us.